Hello, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the code that we've actually created. Now there are a lot of concepts packed into this short piece of code. It's very cryptic looking even though it's a basic sort of what we call a hello world type of program. Uh, you won't understand all of these concepts um, until you've gone through more of the course. So what I want to do here is just run through it quickly so you have a vague idea about it, just to try to make you feel a little bit less confused. It's not important to remember or memorize what I'm saying here because my entire object is, is really not to teach you stuff at this point but to reduce the confusion more like. Okay, so let's just talk about this a little bit. So Java code is organized into packages. We, we create text files with the extension .java and we group them together in what we call packages. We created one package called hello and that's why the, the, this app.java file starts with the statement package hello. It finishes in a semicolon and that's very important. Many programming languages use a semicolon to end a statement and a statement is a kind of, it's like a sentence in English. It's a little bit of computer code that does one particular thing and it ends in a semicolon. Following that, we've got a definition of a class. A class is like the basic unit of Java code. You can have multiple classes in one text file, but usually, most of the time, you create one class per text file in Java and usually the class has to have the same name as the file that it's in. So that's why we've got a class here called app and it's in a file called app.java. Capitalization is also very important. Class has to have an uppercase first letter and so does the text file that it's in. You can't have spaces or weird punctuation in it or anything like that. So we've got a class here and curly brackets define what we call the scope of the class. They define the contents of the class. Within the class we've got a single subroutine. That's a block of code that contains a bunch of statements that actually accomplish something. Now this is a, a subroutine uh, called main and in Java subroutines, sort of collections of lines of code, are called methods. So what we hear, what we have here is a main method and the main method is where your Java program starts. It's where it starts running from. Uh, this, this says string array args. We'll be looking at all of this stuff later so don't worry about it at the moment. But this would allow us to pass in information from the command line if we are running this program on the command line. It's a collection of bits of text essentially but it doesn't matter for the moment. Uh, so we've got this main method, this main subroutine and the scope of that is again defined by two curly brackets. So there's a method called main and then we've got some content of it that goes between two curly brackets and all of that is nested inside this class definition. And what is the actual content of our main method here? Well, it's one single statement. And this says system.out.println. Uh, print in programming terminology means to display on the console. So when we, we talk about printing text, and we don't, mean, we don't mean anything to do with an actual printer. We just mean display it on the console, print it. So we've printed hello world on the console down here. I don't know if you can see that down here. There we go. That, we printed that text. The text that we wanted to print is enclosed in double quotes here. So this is just normal, ordinary, human readable text. The, whoa, the, only, the, only, the only unusual thing about it is that there are some things you can't put in there because they have a special meaning in Java. So for the moment, just stick to ordinary text. But you can have spaces and things in because between these double quotes, it's just ordinary text. Um, and that, because this is a statement, this bit here, it finishes with a semicolon. A system.out.println, print ln, 
it says. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's a mouthful. Um, and we'll, we'll look at, you'll understand more about what that is later on. Uh, but just understand for a moment that this is how we display text on the console in a Java program. That's all it is. Uh, this actual text is called an argument to this method print print line. Uh, so that's that's some terminology for you, and it's a, maybe it gives you a very vague idea about what this program does, or maybe not. Maybe you just feel even more confused than to start with. Either way, that's okay. That's all right. What we're going to be doing in the next few videos and for quite a while probably, is just adding more text here. We're going to add more lines in so that we can do more stuff. And we're going to look at the real basics, the real fundamentals, the nuts and bolts of computer programming. And we're going to gradually build up your skill level and hopefully you'll gradually feel less confused. It is really important to type this out though. You have to type stuff because just watching the video won't be enough. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.